Good morning year two, it's fabulous Friday, nearly the weekend. Today we're going to continue our learning about length, looking mainly at comparing length in metres. In our in focus task you can see we've got three pictures. We've got a picture of a sand pit, a picture of a swimming pool and a picture of a playground. Which of those three different items is the longest and how do you know? Talk to your adult and discuss. Now looking at the let's learn, we've got three children here who are thinking different things. The first child has said that 11 metres is more than 3 metres. Look carefully at that greater than symbol that you should have seen and come across before. The little boy says that 11 metres is greater than 8 metres, which is the length of the playground. And the third child has said that three metres is less than eight metres. Again, look at that less than symbol that you've come across many times before. So thinking about these things that these children think, we can say that the swimming pool is longer than the sand pit. Because looking at the diagram, it says the swimming pool is 11 metres long and the sand pit is only three. We can also say the swimming pool is longer than the playground because we know the swimming pool is 11 metres long and the playground is only eight. We can, however, say that the sand pit is shorter than the playground. What else could you say? And overall, we can say that the swimming pool is the longest and the sand pit is the shortest. So we've reordered the images below to show the shortest and then the longest. Now let's have a look straight at our guided practice. You have got four different coloured lengths of tape. Now you could set this up at home on your own if your parent has a red item, a green item, a yellow item or a blue item. It might be that you've got some electrical tape you could put on the table. You might draw it with different coloured pens on a piece of paper. But what I'd like you to do is measure the length of those four pieces of tape or whatever you've set at home and make sentences to describe what you have found. So the first thing I would do, and you might want to do this as well, is measure the four different lengths. And for those of you who don't have this printed out, I will measure with you the lengths of those different coloured strips. OK, so here's the length of the green tape. Look carefully at that measurement because it comes between seven and eight. How might we say what the length of that is? I would write down the measurement just above the tape so you don't have to remember them all. Now let's measure the length of the red tape. Let's go get the ruler at the right angle. Okay, there's the measurement of the red tape. Now let's move to the yellow tape. The measurement of the yellow tape, if you can see that. And lastly, the length of the blue tape. OK, so using those measurements, can you make sentences to describe what you have found? At the end, I'd like you to write your results using the more than and less than symbols. To complete that sentence at the bottom here. Okay now that was a quick input today because you should be using your knowledge of place value and your knowledge of the number system to help you know which is bigger which is smaller. So if you're independent learning today we're going to compare length in meters. Let's look at question one. You've got three animals, a tiger, an elephant and a giraffe. Can you complete the sentences below? with the animal names. So question 1a, the 
Something is the shortest. Question B. Which animal is the tallest? Question C. The elephant is how many metres taller than the tiger? Question D. The elephant is how many metres shorter than the giraffe? And question E. Can you arrange the animals in order of height starting with the tallest? Now question two, you've got what looks like quite a complicated picture. If I break it down for you, hopefully it will make sense. So in the centre, we've got a picture of a classroom. And coming out of the classroom with the arrows and the measurements that are provided, we've got the library, the computer room, the staff room and the lunch hall. OK, so the library is 35 metres away from the classroom. The computer room is 87 metres away from the classroom. The staff room is 93 metres away from the classroom. And the lunch hall is 62 metres away from the classroom. So using that information there, I want you to fill in the blanks of the sentences on worksheet two. Now, time for those extra learning challenges for those of you who want to push yourself a little bit further. Compare the lengths given using the words longer than, shorter than or the same as. You might need your ruler or your metre ruler, your tape measure, so you can compare and physically look. 15 centimetres is what than 60 centimetres? 60 metres is what than 60 metres? 96 metres is what than 69 metres? And 80 centimetres is what than 80 metres? Be really careful there thinking about your knowledge of place value because there's a few to trick you. Extra challenge two. Can you use the less than and greater than symbols or the equal symbols to complete the following statements. Again, look very carefully, not only at the numbers you're given, but the units of measurements that are used. Extra challenge three. I want you to choose two objects from your home. Estimate the length of each object and then measure both objects and compare the lengths using the less than and greater than or equal symbols. Try it again, but this time you might want to measure your height compared to your brother or sister's height or your mum and dad's height. You might decide to measure the length of your feet or how far you can throw a ball from the same position. Have fun and explore. Extra challenge four. Here we've got some addition and subtraction to complete first using measure before you can complete the sentences. So compare the measurements using again the less than and greater than or equals symbols. Think about how you're going to work out those addition sentences, how you're going to work out those subtraction sentences. Think about all the formal methods you've been taught this year. And the last challenge for this week is the, as follows. A green pencil is twice as long as a blue pencil. Using this, complete the statements using the words longer than, shorter than or equal to. Three green pencils are what? Two blue pencils. Two green pencils are what? Five blue pencils. And last but not least, four green pencils are what? Eight blue pencils. You might want to make up some of these types of questions with your adult and challenge them. Well done this week, year two. We'll be continuing our learning about lengths for at least another two weeks. So remember everything you've learned, but ultimately have a fantastic weekend and I look forward to seeing you on Monday. Bye for now.